Yeah. Uh, as long as you like that, too, it's better. Sure. Yeah. Oh no, well, yeah. The better put put that in your pocket. Put your hand there, yeah. Right. 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 You alright? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. Don't touch anything, yeah? Right, yeah. Alright folks, we're here today to tell you about Jesus, that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, he gave his life for you on that cross. Any questions? Uh, we are filming, yeah, just to let you know. Right. We're not filming hey, you. Got any questions? You got any questions? What? Yeah, film over that way if you don't want to get there. If you want to go over there, yeah. Are you such a you got any questions? Any questions, ladies? Just about Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, just film me, not film them. Yeah. Right. Any questions? What about him? He was Jewish, yeah, he was definitely Jewish, yeah. No, he's the son of God, because he's the son of God. He's divine, which means he's God. It's difficult to understand. It, Jesus said in Matthew 28, he says, go into all the world and make disciples in the name of the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. So the name of the Father is the same for the Son and the Holy Spirit. You see what I mean? Any other? Let me ask you something. If you died tonight, where would you go? And we're here to tell you that Jesus died on that cross for you. You know, he gave his life for you so that you can have a relationship. Let's say you had all the money in the world, you had a brilliant career, you had everything. You had everything, bless you. But you had everything. You had a career, you had a brilliant husband, you had everything. A house, a car, big job. But then you die, you can't take those things with you. Yeah, but in Egyptian, they believe that you can take everything with you. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. But the thing is that Jesus died and rose again. And because he died and rose again, he's conquered death. And that shows you that you can conquer, conquer death if you believe in him, you see. see. So all the other prophets are dead. But he died and rose again, so you can trust in him. Okay, have a nice day. Have a lovely day. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah. My friends, Jesus Christ died on that cross. He died to save you. He died to bring you home. He was whipped. He was mocked. He was humiliated. He was crushed on that cross, and he was crushed on your behalf. He was bruised on your behalf. And if you want to know God today, you can know him through Jesus Christ. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his all for you. On that cross, they whipped him. They mocked him. They humiliated him. They spat at him. They nailed him to that cross. But when they nailed him to that cross, he died as a savior. He was the lamb that was shed. John the Baptist said, behold, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever cursed the name of God? Have you ever been disrespectful to your parents? But well, Jesus died for your disrespect. Jesus died for your swearing. Jesus died on your behalf that you may be right with him. He became your savior. He, he shed his blood so that you could come home and be in heaven. That's why he gave his life for you. That's why he shed his blood for you. He wants you to come home today. No taking drugs, no looking at porn, no, no uh, swearing like a gangster rapper, no swearing like a gangster rapper, no, no taking drugs, but coming to know Jesus, coming to know him as your Lord and Savior. Religion cannot save you. You can be religious, but being religious cannot save you. What saves you is knowing, what saves you is knowing Jesus. Why was he in the courtyard? Why was he there? Why was they laughing at him? Why were they mocking him? Why did they whip him? Why did they whip him and rip his back open? Why did they do that? He did it because he was dying for you. That's why he did it. He did it so that you could be reconciled to God. You can be, have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. You can know God through Jesus Christ. You can know him as your saviour. You can know him as your Lord. Look at that there. No. Oh, God. God bless it, yeah?
<laughs> you can know him as your saviour. You can know him as your Lord. That's Jesus. That's why he died and rose again. He died and rose again. All the other prophets are dead. But he died and rose again. And because he rose again, he has the power to save you. He has the power to change you. He has the power to make you anew. His name is Jesus Christ today. We're in Chatterton today to tell you about the gospel, to tell you about Jesus, to tell you about the cross, to tell you about the Lord, to tell you about the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus Christ today. That's why we're in Chatterton. That's why we're sharing the gospel today. So that you may know Christ. He was whipped. He said they scourged him. They put a whip and they whipped his back and they ripped his back open. And as they whipped his back, he was suffering blood coming out of his back and they whipped his back and they put a crown of thorns on his head and they nailed him to the cross. Why was he nailed? He was nailed for you. He was nailed for you on that cross. He died for you on that cross. As a sacrifice for you. That's it. He was a sacrifice for your sin. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he shed his blood. He was a sacrifice. He was the Lamb of God shed for you. He was the Lamb that gave his life so that when you die, you won't go to hell. So when you die, you go to heaven because he died in your place. He shed his blood on your behalf. He gave his all for you on that cross. He died to save you. He died to bring you home. He died to bring you to heaven. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he gave his life for you. He died to save you. He died to bring you home. He died to bring you to heaven today. That's why he gave his life for you. All come to him today. Trust him as your Lord and Savior. Know that he died for you. Know that he gave his life for you. Know that he shed his blood for you. Know that he gave his all. They whipped him. They humiliated him. They mocked him. They attacked him. They spat at him. They punched him. And he took those blows for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. That's why he died on that cross. He died as a sacrifice. He died on your behalf. He died for you today to save you, to bring you home. And if you trust him, you can come and know him as your Lord and Savior. If you believe him, you can be forgiven. If you believe him, you can be restored. If you believe him, you can be clean. If you believe him, you can be washed. You can have a home in heaven. You can go to heaven today. That's why he gave his life for you. He gave his life as a sacrifice. They spat at him. They spat at him. They mocked him. They humiliated him. They attacked him. They whipped him. They put him in that courtyard and they battered him blue. They whipped him blue. But as he was being whipped, he was thinking of you on that cross. He was thinking of you as they whipped him. He was thinking of you when they mocked him. He was thinking of you. How are you doing? All right, guys. I've seen you before. <laughs> We're bumping into each other everywhere. We're going. <laughs> he was thinking of you. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he gave his life for you. That's why he shed his blood for you. That's why he gave his all. He died to save you. He died to give his life. He died to bring you home. He died to save you today. He shed his blood to save you. He shed his blood to bring you home. That's why he gave his life for you today. So come to him as your Lord and Savior. Come to him as your King. Come to him as your God. Come to him today and know that he shed his blood for a reason. That he gave his all for you. That he gave his all for you on that cross. He couldn't have done enough for you. He showed his love by dying on that cross. He showed his love by shedding his blood. He showed his love by giving his all. They laughed at him. They mocked him. They humiliated him. They spat at him. They broke his back. They broke his body. But as they broke him, he was thinking of you on that cross. He was dying for you on that cross. He was giving himself for you on that cross. He was giving his all for you on that cross. He was shedding his blood for you on that cross. That's why he gave his life for you. And if you want to know God today, if you want to be reconciled to God today, if you want to know his love today, if you want to know his peace today, if you want to know you're forgiven today, you know that he died for you on that cross. You know that he gave his life for you on that cross. 
that he shed his blood for you on that cross. That's why he died on that cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. You can have eternal life today. You can be saved today. You can be born again today. Uh, you can be changed today. Uh, you can go to heaven today. Uh, you can go to glory today. Uh, you can be with God today. By knowing that Christ died on that cross, by knowing that Christ gave his life for you, it's no good doing wrong things. It's no good taking drugs. It's no good getting drunk. Just come to Jesus and know his love, know his grace, know his mercy, know his peace. God bless you guys. You all right? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. I don't think she's bad. She needs to get a broom. I know, I know. Get a chair. It's not a chair. Have a lovely day. He died on that cross to save you. He died on that cross to bring you home, to give you a life, to give you a future, to give you a purpose, to give you a plan in life. That's lovely. Cool. He died on that cross to give you a future, to give you a hope to give you a purpose. That's why he died on the cross to save you, to bring you to heaven. He shed his blood to bring you home. He shed his blood to save you. There is no other way to get saved. There is no other way to heaven but by the cross, by knowing that Christ died on that cross. He took your blow, he took your punishment, he took your judgment. So come on to Jesus. Come on to the Lord today. Come on to the King of Kings. Come all to the Lord of Lords. Come all to your Savior, who gave his all, who gave his life. He hung on that cross. He could have come off the cross. He could have called legions of angels. But he stayed on that cross. And he stayed on that cross for you. And he hung on that cross for you. And he stayed there for you. And shed his blood for you on that cross. That's what he did for you. He hung on that cross for you and died on that cross for you and gave his life for you on that cross. He took the blow. They laughed at him. They punched him. They mocked him. They whipped him and they ripped his back open with the whip. And there, as he was whipped and as he was mocked and as he was laughed at, it was love that kept him there. It was love that kept him there in that courtyard. It was love for you. It was love for you that he stood there being whipped. It was love for you that he stood there being mocked. It was love for you that he stood there and took the blows. He could have left, he could have gone, but he stayed there and he took the blows. He took the punishment. He took it for you. He took the wrath of his father upon him. And there he hung, cried out and said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And at that moment, the wrath of God came upon him. And all the lies, all the stealing, all the things that you've ever done wrong, the wrath of God fell upon him for you. And he was crushed in your place. He was dying in your place that you may live. He was dying in your place that you may have a life. He was dying in your place that you may be saved. He was dying in your place that you may have a hope. He was dying in your place that you may have a future. That's why he was dying. He was dying in your place. And if you confess your sin and acknowledge your guilt and say sorry to God and say I'm sorry for my sin, I'm sorry for what I've done wrong and you believe that he died for you, you can be saved. You can be forgiven. If you believe Jesus died for you on that cross, if you believe that he gave his life for you on that cross, you can be saved. It's faith in him. Faith in Jesus. Not good works, but having faith that he died for you. Having faith that he gave his life for you. It's faith in Jesus. Once you have faith in Jesus, you're forgiven. You're forgiven of all your mistakes. You're forgiven of all your failure. You're forgiven and you're cleansed and you're washed and you're made anew in Jesus. It says we are new creatures in Christ. We become new creatures in Jesus. We become new people in God. The old has passed away and we become new. We come off the drunk, the drink. We come off the drugs. We come off the violence. We come off the hate. 
We come off these things and we come into Jesus. We come off the materialism and the selfishness and the pride. We come off the backbiting and gossip. We come off it. We come off the wacky backy. We come off the materialism. We come off it all. And we come into the blessings of God, into the new life of being born again of God, born again of Jesus, born again of the Lord, born again of the Savior, born again of Him. That's what we come to, being born again in Jesus. All right, God bless yeah. you. God bless.